Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Radiant Historia Part 44. In the previous video, uh, I don't know, we're like, the in-game stuff's going on, Heist is, ah, I'm a bad guy, I'm teleporting around through time, I'm doing hijinks. Now we're in Monkey Man Village because, I don't really remember why, I think I just needed to get to an inn. And I just kind of clicked on this spot because I knew it was a spot where there was no story. So in between videos, actually, let's, let's go back because I want to look at our uh, stuff. I actually played the I did I did the absolute unthinkable. I played the game for like a decent bit off screen. Despite having horrible vibes at the end of the last video, for some reason, that's that was the impetus I needed to actually like play the game off screen and uh, grind at the Vault of Time. Since I guess since we finally like reached the end, Presumably, I mean, there may be like a, like, I don't know how the post game and stuff works in this game or if it's really how this whole climax is going to play out. But since we've reached presumably the end of the Vault of Time, kind of, I felt kind of okay about going in and grinding. So we got you a weapon, you some armor. Are you, are you supposed to have three of these? I feel like you're not supposed to have three of these. Are you supposed to have like a bishop stud? Yeah, yeah, you should have one bishop stud. I thought we had one of those 12 defense things. But whatever, that's not important. We got the armor on, on him. Oh, wait, did we get armor on you? Yeah, 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 we got your armor. We got your armor. We got your weapon. We got two accessories. We got some random items and I got some of the art cards. Now I think actually we've maybe had this one forever and I just had never used it. And also maybe this one. But these two are the 8,000 ones. And I just kinda, I didn't even, I should have, if I've been thinking, made a save state when you're in Mementos before I bought them to see if they're actually any good, because they may or may not be any good. I mean, I assume Excel Burst just advances a random turns, a random ally's turn, which sounds good. And Lightning Speed, I'm hoping is just a party buff on speed. Now, for some reason, they made the incredible decision to be like, hey, here's these skill cards. No, we can't tell you what they do. Yes, they're extremely expensive. Uh, also, if you try and, like, leave mementos to, like, save or anything, I mean, you lose all your mementos. I keep calling it mementos. You leave the Vault of Time. So what did you learn? Excel Burst. Start of turn, one ally. Temporarily raise mana gauge fill rate. What the fuck? That's bad. I mean, it's not that bad, but... It's definitely not as good as what I was hoping it was going to be, or what I assumed it was going to be. I guess it depends on how, what is temper, like how, how much are we raising it? You know, like, like what type of increase are we talking about? 10%, 50%, 100%, 2000%.Temporarily boost combo level. What the hell? These are terrible. What the, f that's so bad. I could have just bought. I mean, there really wasn't anything else to buy. Because, I mean, I probably did about two or three hours. Because it takes forever. Because I, I hate the Vault of Time, kind of. Um, I mean, my biggest problem with it... Well, it's two. I think it's like you get rid of one of these, it becomes a lot more less annoying. God, we love words over here on this channel. You can't leave to save. Like once you're in the Vault of Time, you can't save or you lose all your mementos. Now that sucks. And also you can't use any items. So like the most, so, so like to get the most expensive things, you have to, you know, stay in there for a decent bit of time because you can't, you know, just like do little mini sessions. 
And so it encourages just like really boring defensive play where like what I would do is we would get to the last area and then I'd just have to like use region on Rainy and go fight like some random enemy and then just like have them defend to regen all everyone's mana because you can't use items in the Vault of Time. And if you're not efficient with your fights, then you won't get enough mementos before you run out of mana to actually buy anything. We did eventually get, like, right when I was actually done, we got, um, one of the gold boys showed up. And I think we got, like, 20k off that one, which is why I bought those skill cards that I originally wasn't going to buy. But I was like, well, we got all this extra stuff, and then they turned out to be freaking useless. Combo gain rate. Why don't you combo these? Where am I going? I'm gonna be honest. I have I have less than zero clue. Oh yeah, because in the last video we died. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was it. We went into the dungeon and we had zero MP and I was trying to find a save. Because I wanted to use a mana crystal. Oh my god, we're way back here. Alright, well. I guess I should have saved all the talking about the Vault of Time for this part. If I would remembered. That this is what's going on. But yeah, I don't know. The Vault of Time is just annoying. I think it's mainly the not being able to save. Like, if you could talk to the dude and save. It would be way less annoying. Especially because they have the whole, like, you know, there's the black shadows in the zones that are... I mean, you can't... I mean, you, the one thing is I, I did encounter it a couple times. It's it's a reskin of a spider. It's not even, like, a interesting, cool, unique enemy. It's literally just a reskin of one of the most, like, annoying brain-dead enemies in the game. But you can run from it at least, and it does seem like on, on the two times that I encountered it, it always used a debuff on the first turn, instead of just straight up one-shotting your entire party, so that was nice. I'll protect you. What do I do? Okay. That's okay, go. We don't have to be enemies. That's for all the all the stock fans out there. Oh boy, a dress for Erica, the character who doesn't exist in the game anymore. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I think we're just gonna have to fight you. Oh yeah, we can just stun you. That works. What? I, I looked you. away from the screen. Uh, yes. Apparently there was an enemy there. Okay. I thought we were just gonna screen transition. That's. Okay, so we fight Cube Man. He's weak to ice. Which Rainy did learn good ice. I think in the last video I made the I said something like Rainy only character who can use ice is Erica who doesn't exist which is technically not true Rainy can use ice it's just not any good because it's basic and I can maybe use ice I don't remember okay you do know ice trap I thought you only had three Got his ass. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know if stock does any damage, but we can try it since we have AOE magic boost now. Isn't that so cool? This will do the trick. Trust. Eat this. Oh yeah, and I think during our grinding, Rush did finally learn 
the ability I've been asking for for the entire game, which is a move that buffs physical attack. The problem is we're 40 hours into the game and I'm not using any new characters. Plus he's, you know, 20 levels lower than us. And would require all new equipment and accessories and blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess we could reuse the accessories, but. What am I doing? I mean, let's, let's try a little G thing. Okay, I'll actually just try the 1G thing. Pretty bad. I hate crits, man. They're on, they're, they're, I'll, I'll say it. Crits are my enemy. I don't know why they're so strong and so common. Oh, you don't do physical damage. Too slow. My brain just was like, ah, we can do a little bit of damage. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 No damage allowed. Let me have a go. Here I, I will come. say half the time when we look at our skill list, my eyes just glaze over. Which I mean that's a me thing oh, mainly. That was a close one. Yeah, okay, I get it. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, she's all her mana. All her mana gone. You may notice there's no green crystals on the bridge right now. It really makes you think. Can you invis through these? You actually can, huh? Why do I gotta fight the cubes again, man? You ever wanted to fight the final boss of the game? But then it said no cube? You want to fight the same cube over and over again before you can have the justice of fighting the same boss fight for a third time? So? Any cares? Just making sure you're not like pre weaknessed. I don't know, man. Do we can try lowering magic. Okay. The yeah. problem is, is that debuffs kind of stopped like working. Thunder. Which is like, as soon as like debuffs start to have an RNG element, I'm like, ah, oh, they're cooked. I'm not, I don't, because especially if I don't know the percentage chance. Because like, if the percentage chance is not 100%, my brain's like, oh, it's 10. So it's not worth doing. Like, if you don't give me the number. You can do it. Let me have a I guess what we could do is wait for him this to leave a mark. Um, weakness shift. Eat this. So you increased his his combo build rate. Add two to final combo level of all attacks. Okay. I mean, that would have been kind of decent when we were in the Vault of Time because your combo level matters there for the Mementos multiplier. And that's kind of it. Because the problem is that, like, since... 
like the the XP and gold you get after fights is so low to begin with that even if you do double it, it still feels like shit. And it's like it takes so much longer to set up that it's like you may as well just do two fights. But in Mementos, where you know you're not allowed to have mana, it kind of mattered. Or Vault of Time. I'm gonna I'm just gonna call it Mementos now. Should have done that differently. I really thought that'd kill. I was like, there's no shot that doesn't kill. Let me have a go. That was a close one. Like, oh boy, we got 800 gold. I'm pogged up. Do I need to fight both cubes? Please no. But like, can I just go th like, why? I will say, I don't think I've ever played a game on the channel that's made me go why as much as this one. I won't lose. Now, I won't say any game ever. At least in recent memory. I can't think of anything else that, that has made me exclaim why as often as this game. Don't crit me. Thank you. This is looking bad. Now he just won't weakness transition, probably. Now that I'm gonna like sit here and wait for it, he's gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Appreciate. Okay. Magic boost. Well, I guess in theory we should have had Stock do his attacks first to, to, to build up our combo. Let's do this now. Here I come. Trust. That did 700 last time. Remember? Remember when it did 700? Can we talk about why it did so much less this time? Trust. Eat this. A uh, brother. That's supposed to be an instant kill when they're at low HP. Leave it to me. Oh boy, his. Oh boy, his his, his mana is going off the freaking chain, man. Trust. It's finally over. That should keep it still. Uh huh. What I want to look at? Oh, what was that ability? So I don't even know who learned it. Was it you? Something cross star. Cross star. Okay. I could actually do damage independently now. That's kind of pog. That honestly make her a lot more viable. Ain't it's AOE? Unfortunately, we're 40 hours into the game, and I'm not I'm not changing up the formula at all. It's too late for that. If they wanted me to be a, I mean, by nature, I'm a I'm a switchy guy. I like to party switch. I'm not I'm not fighting the cube. <laughs> do I really want to do the cube fight again to get a chest that? There's a decent chance it's like, hey, here's an 80 MP consumable. 
<sighs> Can't get careless. Okay, thinking about titling this video the one you don't watch. Hey, hey, I got this! You can do it! Trying to like do we could ult, but probably not worth. This'll do the trick. <sighs> Rude. Mm-hmm. What if you try to be like, oh, my preferred party's gonna be Stock and Gafka and Roshk. What if you were like, oh, that that sounds like fun, and then the game said absolutely not under no fucking circumstances? Would you be allowed to do that? I mean, Stock in theory has access to magic, but it kind of sucks as you can as you can see. And this boss is immune to fire. No. I keep seeing regenerate and I'm like, oh, that's the mana one, right? Wrong. I guess in theory we should. I can't remember. Does combo boosting, like, I think it slightly boosts your damage. It feels super unnoticeable, but... I think in theory it's supposed to do more damage. I think it's just her crits do more damage now. I guess that's it. I know her weapon said something about crits, so I thought I just said crit rate up. Maybe I read it wrong. Oh, it's crit damage up. Okay, so that's why. So now the game's even more RNG based. Oh, brother. Yes. Not even allowed to get a preemptive strike. Can I run? I hate these don't crystals. Let up. We failed. Crap! I can't. I don't know if we're just failing or if you literally can't run from these guys. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to try and fight him. Quick one. Too slow. I'm sorry. Fuck Everyone. his ass up. We hate Marco. We stand somebody who kills Marco. With that being said, he's good in combat, so I can't, you know, that, that gives him some points. Get his ass. I mean, sorry, Marco. How about this? Yacha. Just stop cursing him. Stop buffing Marco. Give me this dog shit ass ability. See, that was supposed to happen to the damn cube. I was pretty useful, right? Mm. Debate. Fuck you. Huh? Okay, never mind. Unfuck you. Huh? Fuck's rescinded. Gotta fight another damn cube. 
If, if this is a, I'll end the video. If it's a, if it's a royalty or whatever, if it's one, of, if it's the 80 MP consumable item. Okay, it's 150. I'm a man of my word. I can't believe they're just. What were they thinking? Leave it to me. <sighs> no, I didn't mean to do it. It doesn't matter. This will do the trick. Yeah. He's like, wah, I'm gonna curse ya. I'm gonna curse. I always forget. What's the difference in what's the difference in curse and the one that drains mana? Isn't that also called curse? Oh, that's fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear is the one that. Wouldn't it be funny if you had no mana? No. You think that's kind of annoying? Fuck you. Eat my ass. I don't know, we could just do regular frosts and, and hope we crit and get the instant kill. Okay, so so pay attention. Let's see the damage difference. Between first frost and final G frost. Now, if you crit, it'll fuck things up. Okay, you fuck things up. So that did 13. Frost. 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 And it did like 17 did last time. At the end of the combo. So it's like, it's, it's kind of noticeable if you actually hit a big damage number. Huh? The problem is this is like kind of the few fights where it's viable to let the enemies act multiple times in a row because he doesn't have like a super AOE ability. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. I thought that was the floor, man. I want to help too. I think I can escape. I want to help too. You can do it. I ain't even got any damn mana, man. No. <laughs> Here you go. Good one. <laughs> I got legit just thought that was the floor. Leave it to me. Like I saw the little center, but I was like, what is this? He was camouflaged too well. Yeah. Don't kill her. Mm -hmm. ah. All right, gang. So we're designing our final dungeon. This is when we should go all out do all the cool shit we thought of over the course of the game. This is really when we can run wild and be free. What if instead we made no. is this I help too. possibly Leave it to me. one of the most boring final dungeons out there? <laughs> Okay, yeah, fuck his ass up. This should do it. Just uh, absolutely zero fun. Fight the same tedious ass thing mm, a dozen times in a row. Does that sound fun? Does that fill you with great joy? Please crit. Frost. 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 Oh, that 
was a close one. 200 XP. I didn't even want to fight you, man, because there's stupid fucking crystals in the way. But now that I've bought the stupid thing, I gotta fight these. Uh... Yes. Like, I, I really do struggle to think of, like, a final dungeon in a game that's worse than this. I mean, there are definitely some that are more annoying, for sure. But, like, at least they're a little interesting. Brother. Bro Brother, man. The hell is Mana Guard down? What does that even... What does that even mean? I mean, she just did like 100 damage. Appreciate Let me have a go. I really expected Here her I to come. do more. Too slow. Honestly, I am surprised this that Rosh actually does damage. Considering that like... Like with his follow-up attacks? Yeah. I wonder if they just have like really high base power or something, because his strength stat is abysmal. It's like half of what stocks is. Now oh, it's double slash. Here I come! How about this? Whew. It's over. Specialty. Special these teas. Huh? Fuck you. Can I have a save? Don't you fucking dare throw me into a boss fight immediately. Okay. You finally made it this far, Stock. You two? But why? Nothing has happened yet. Or has it? That's right. Heiss and Erika are inside, but the door has been sealed by black energy. It must have been Heiss's doing. What should I do? Can we talk about how the White Chronicle sucks ass? <laughs> In comparison to the Black Croc, Black Croc would just constantly be like, Oh yeah, sealed off, mind-controlled, resurrected people. What can Stock do? Fucking nothing. He can hit people eight times in a row. What do you freaking do? Do you see the four magic circles around us? Uh-huh. Black energy flows from the circles to the door. So if I stop the flow, the seal will be broken. But be careful, Stock. What lies beyond the magic circle is a subtly altered world. One that has felt the taint of the black energy. A servant of the Black Chronicle will be waiting for you. I'll be alright. I've carved my way through the convolutions of history many times thus far. You're right, of course. I'm sure you can do this. I mean, they can't be that strong. Best of luck, Stock. If they were that strong, they wouldn't be serving the Black Chronicle, you know what I mean? Oh my god, we're doing a fucking Mega Man boss rush? Is that, is that what we're doing? Does this count as a node on the White Chronicle? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could have gone to an end, but... Alright. Beyond this dark light lies a world twisted by the Black Chronicle. Is it a new world or cubes? Is this Lasville Hills? Annie and Marco are here too. When is this? You want to fight? What's wrong, Stop? You spaced out for a second there. If we stand around, we'll be killed like the spy. Let's hurry, Stock. I see. This is during our first mission together. Stock, what the hell are you talking about? A lot happened here. This was when the White Chronicle first awakened as well. Bro, we already beat Palamedes' ass. 
Huh? What are you talking about? It's nothing. Listen, there's a powerful enemy waiting ahead for us. Both of you should be on your guard. Got it. Oh, wrong way. I mean, this would be cooler if we didn't already fight Palamedes as part of the story. Like a while ago. I mean, I guess it's going to be souped up Palamedes, but presumably the boss fight's going to be the same. I mean, maybe I'll have like one new ability, but... Stuck! That's High Colonel Diaz and his Vice Commander Palamedes, the Executioner! There's no way we can beat them. Actually, you're strong as hell. Don't say that. What other choice do we have? They'll slaughter us if we don't do something. We'll die is your fate. Mmm, Whitesicle. My favorite. Something seems strange about him. Get ready. We're going to fight our way through. Huh? Here goes. Diaz, can we fight Diaz? Does Diaz finally get a boss fight? No? Okay, he has two crystals. Why is Diaz in this game? Like, I don't, I mean, why did they even make a point of like establishing that he's like a strong soldier and then literally never give him a boss fight? Very strange. Guard rise me. This'll do the trick. Don't don't double magic attack and kill me. Uh I guess we can use our ultimate. Am I gonna regret using my ultimate? I feel like I'm gonna regret using my ultimate. I mean presumably you're Okay, you're not immune to ice. You do resist fire and are weak to lightning, which doesn't make any damn sense. I mean, I, I could almost buy that it's like, oh, the ice is so cold that fire doesn't really affect it. What, what's lightning? Lightning's just really hot fire, I guess. All right, do your thing. This is looking bad. Rude. You, I mean, might just kill us, man. Ah, whatever. The fight just started. If he kills us, he kills us. We can do it, guys. Make way. Here I come. Yeah. Brother, that's not any damage. Eat this. The crystal. He's immune. What? What is it? I mean, I'm, I'm th thanks for doing it, but th that doesn't do anything, guys. Like, I don't, I don't mean to be a hater, but. I think he's going to kill Rainy. I don't think he's got the stones to kill Rainy. Okay. Hey, uh, Sorry. what if uh, we just gave the boss a literal one-shot instant kill mechanic? Uh, do you think, think the kids would get pogged up for that? Do you think that would be fun? We just said, okay, um, what if however you built your character doesn't fucking matter because the boss can just one-shot you? Isn't, isn't that cool? Isn't that really fun? Doesn't that fill your heart with a lot of joy if we just reduced our base level mechanics to pure RNG? God, this game is bad. I don't even know if physical physical doesn't do anything, probably. Here you go. Uh. 
I mean, at least that, like in theory, you could play around and survive. But just giving him a straight up one shot instant kill is. And it's not even like a, like a, I mean, it didn't seem like it was even like a percentage chance. I mean, I really need to boost you. Just don't kill Rainy, man. This'll do the trick. Okay, thank you. Okay, against my better judgment, don't crit Rainy. What does that do? Okay. Make way! This'll leave a mark. No crits. Eat this! I'm sorry, everyone. Here you go. No. Fuck you, you piece of garbage. Oh, now I'm going to crit. I actually hate the whole now crits are super strong because it makes it feel even worse. That did no damage. Why? I guess your buff wear off. Ah! Does it really need to be the difference in doing one damage in 200? Is that entirely necessary? Do you do physical damage? This will do the trick. You okay? Too slow. Okay, you do do physical damage. It's weird because to me it feels like you shouldn't because it's a fucking rock. You know? Feels like physical shouldn't work. Make way! Thunder! How about this? Ha! Too slow! We did it somehow! Do we have to do that three more times? Oh. Guys, just let me fight Heiss and win the game! Does this count as a checkpoint? And we just save, so if it doesn't... Let us go back. Like, like, if we teleport back here, is it going to make me refight Palamedes? There's like a, I'd say there's a 70% chance. It would say, yes, you have to restart and fight Palamedes again. I would be surprised if it didn't make me fight Palamedes again. Even though that's a terrible idea. I got no mana crystals, man. Okay, they're, they're actually, they're, they're sane for this part. I 100% I expected it to reset, make you refight Palamedes. I guess we'll call it here. I just wish I could end the game. Like, we're just so close. I just want to... And we're not that close, I guess, because there's, like, potentially post-game stuff, which I guess I'll do. Even though the game is very annoying at this point. I 
And like, I'm not having a terrible time. I'm just not really having a good time with the game. I guess is the way I would phrase it. Cause it's like, I don't even think the game is bad, but I'm just like, I'm so disappointed in it. Like more disappointed than I would be if the game was like average from the start. It's like, it started off so good and then it's become so just okay. And that feels so like so much worse to me than if the game had just been okay from the start. Cause if it had just been like all right and didn't have, I didn't see like a ton of potential in it. And then to see that potential squandered at like every turn, it just bums me out. But, uh, cause it's like, yeah, cause it's like, I could be having an amazing time and instead we're merely having an okay time. And that's sad, I guess. But, I mean, the game still has a chance to round it out in the climax. I mean, I've, as I've said, if they can get the climax done well, it almost all will be forgiven. I can't, I'm like someone who cares a ton about endings and just like general climaxes of like media. Like you could be pretty meh for like 85%, but if your last 15% is good, like that's all I'll care about. But right now we've kind of done the exact opposite where like the first 15% was amazing and then this last 15% has been like not very good. Alrighty, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part and bye guys.